Hi, in this episode, I'd like to show you how to add criteria to single config types. First uh, example is to add criteria on this title config type. So you see it's uh, the title of the opportunity owner, but it's also directly set to the config type of opportunity owner. So there is no space here. This is important for the demo. In the demo, there is a case where there is a title and we want to add it. Uh, there is a case there is no title, so we do not want to add it. We will just want to leave it empty. When and it's empty, it will just uh, drop the uh, merge field. When it's not empty, it will add the value, but it also needs to add a space between the title and the opportunity owner. Okay, how to configure that? You already know how to open a PDF Butler configuration screen. You already know how to add the data sources. So now there is a new thing called criteria rules. I've added a criteria rule here that says when the owner title is different from empty, then use the owner title as a value. I want to add a space when there is a value. So when there is no value, no space will be added. When there is a value, a space will be added. Let's take a look at the configuration. Very easy. You already know this type of criteria from uh, paragraphs or table or table rows. So uh, the value that you set is from, um, from a data source and data source fields. You can also select a fixed value. Of course, then it's uh, something you type in yourself. In this case, we want to go for the data source. Owner title different from empty, so no value here. Okay, so let's give it a try, see, uh, see what it gives. Um, the owner is myself and I'm, uh, I have the title of founder. Let's see how this works. So, the example is already here, and it says founder, space, and my name. So, exactly what I wanted and what I expected. Now, imagine there is no title set. As I said, I just want the field to be empty. So, I will remove the title here. I'll save it. And let's generate it again. So now you will see that there is no indeed no title and there is no extra space. This space is there because it's there between the uh, double point and my name, which is also there in the uh, example that I've shown here. So there is this space here. So everything is as I uh, configured it. Uh, next up, next example, <coughs> we make it a little bit more interesting. Um, we have a contact on our opportunity, and a contact can have uh, one, two, three, four, five different types of phones. So, a lot of times these phones, one of these phones are filled, but not all of them are filled. So, there is some kind of a logic that we want to show the phone that is filled. When it's not filled, just go to the next uh, type of phone. So, first we'll try in the phone. Then we'll try the home phone, then the mobile phone, then another phone, then the assistant phone. So we will try these one at a time, one, one by one. And we'll see uh, one, when one is filled, it immediately shows that value. Let's take a look at the configuration of this. So there is a contact phone. This is the uh, merge field. And I have a set of criteria rules. Same thing here, when the phone is empty, the, uh, different from empty, then select the phone. When one of these criteria rules is correct, it will not run all the other ones. In this case, I do not want to add a space, but I do want a default value. So when there is n when all of these criteria rules are false, the default value be will be no phone specified. So it's a fixed value. It's not uh, coming from a data source. When you want it from a data source, that's perfectly possible. It will automatically take the default, the uh, from the field and the data source that is configured on the uh, config type itself. So over here.
fixed value for now. Okay, so uh, the configuration is really easy. So uh, these are the uh, these are this is the logic that, we, that I want to run through, and I also want to do it in this um, order. So first the phone, then the home phone, then the mobile phone, then another phone, then the assistant phone. Configuration is really easy. We just select the data source and then uh, some uh, some logic. So the, the home phone is different from empty, no value here. Okay, let's take a look how that works. Same uh, example here, we have a contact. I will just open this contact in another tab. And we'll see on this contact that there is no phone filled. So all this phone are empty. Um, configuration wise, it will run through the uh, default and will specify no phones specified. Okay, let's generate. And indeed, it says no phone specified. Let's quickly fill a, f a mobile phone, for instance. Okay, so now that is a mobile phone. Let's generate it again. And you will see that indeed the mobile phone number that I just filled in is selected. So up to the next one. Okay, what's, what else can we do? We can also use it, of course, inside, an, um, inside some a repeating list. So we have here uh, a free shipping indicator. Um, that will only show when the opportunity quantity, uh, the quantity of the products inside the opportunity line items is bigger than one. So that's the uh, um, that's the test. So how is it configured? Very easy. So we can just uh, I just added the criteria rule here. It says uh, well, let's take a look at the rule. So it will add a fixed value field. So a star in this case when the quantity is bigger than one. So the quantity of the opportunity um, products. Okay, this is exactly what I want. When mm, this is false, so when the quantity equals to, uh, to one or, or lower, but it's not possible, um, then there is no default value. So it will just leave it empty and there is no space to be added. Uh, when there is a value, so it will also add no space. Okay, let's take a look. We see here uh, some products. They have quantity 3, well, there's one with a quantity 1, there's one with a quantity 4. So with this quantity 1, we expect no star. And for the others, we expect a star to be added to the text. Let's take a look. And indeed, I will uh, make it a little bit bigger. You can see here that when the quantity is one, there is no star. When the quantity is bigger than one, there is always a star added. So this is uh, the functionality on criteria rules.